I have to wear this tank top because I'm already sweating so much from what I'm about to say. Oh, I need to get a grip. Okay, what's up everyone? It's Alicia here and I'm back with another video. This is something I've been meaning to do and I feel like now that I've reached 12K subscribers, I should tell my truth. Guys, I've been lying to you. So, as a lot of you know, I started my channel back in the day, 2011, it was a long time ago. And after the first year not growing as much as I thought, I just figured, you know what, the best thing I can do is lie. I mean, people do it all the time. So, I decided to start this whole Life Legally Blind journey. And at first, it took me a while to convince myself that this was a good idea to do, which is why I didn't do it a year after. But when I shared my big little secret with you, it was a secret because it wasn't true. I'm not legally blind. I don't have Stargirl's disease. I don't even know if Stargirl's disease really exists. I mean, after all, the only blindness is blindness itself, right? And I know a lot of you guys started to question things, especially as it's been 10 years almost of being on YouTube, 11 years of living with this disease. And somehow I can still make eye contact with the camera. Somehow I can still get my face looking like this or do my curls. Although even my curls are fake because I used a flexi rod today. I haven't been sleeping well since my birthday because this lie has been weighing so heavy on my heart. And I figure if I clear the air and I put everything out in the open, you guys will stay with me and will grow and I can live an even better life of luxury because that's what every YouTuber wants, right? I started to feel unsure about the path I was taking when I made that Q&A video with Stargard's questions. Some of you suspected that I wasn't blind. You asked questions like, how do I have sex? How do I get dressed? And truth is, it's so easy to make up a background story about these things. I can just say I close my eyes. Dressing is not that hard when you've worked at Zara for so many years. <laughs> After all, at the end of the day, how can a blind person support themselves? How do I work? How am I blind and I'm buying clothes online? Like that doesn't make any sense. I wanted to come out being that I've reached a major milestone and I'm not going anywhere anytime fast that I just share the truth about my past. I feel bad for everyone that I lied to, but I'm happy that you guys subscribed because I got coins off of that. So, you know, going forward, I feel much better already. Like just speaking this out loud, you don't know what it's like to live a lie, to pretend that you're disadvantaged, to have to zoom in and catch yourself when you're not zoomed in because you can read so easily. I mean, I've even got my friends into this lie. A lot of them think that I'm blind when I'm really not. Like I have glasses and I don't wear them because I don't need them. Like the truth is I can see perfectly fine. It's just sometimes when I'm out, I don't want to say hi to someone because one, it's a pandemic and two, I'm just that girl. I don't care to say hi to people. So I just pretend like I don't see them. There's so many benefits to being blind. I can't even begin to tell you. Like you have sympathy from people that you don't even know. You get discounts. There's government aid, but you have to literally live in like a really dilapidated situation. Like I'm talking about like the bottom of the barrel and you can't make a certain amount unless you want to get a little schemey with it. And I mean, I can always make a video on how to hack the system. So I just figured it'd be so much better for me to make money through YouTube instead of trying to continuously scam the government and just pretend to be blind. Like, I don't know. It's just one of those things, guys. I just... I was tired of keeping up the facade and being that this is a year of living life on lockdown, I've had so much time to consider the, the consequences of my actions and how I've led so many people astray. And, you know, I get DMs every day, people saying that I'm not really blind. And it's just, it's tiring that they know the truth. And I just wanted to share with all of you being that you've loved me for who you thought I was. And now you're going to love me for who I actually am. So. I don't know what I'm gonna do on this channel since I don't wanna really do the life legally blind anymore since I'm not. But maybe I'll go back to doing my skincare reviews. Those did really well. They actually do way better than any of my sob stories about Star Guards, truly. So maybe that, or maybe I can do some like luxury lifestyle stuff because a lot of people seem to watch that even though we're all broke at home. But if you wanna see that, I'll do that too. Ugh, I feel so much better, guys. You don't even know. You don't know what it's like to have a secret. That's the secret. 
its inception. Thanks so much for watching as always. If you haven't already, hit the like button and let the algorithm know that you want this channel to get more coins. Make sure you subscribe here and on the pod there and let's just keep this going. Now that we're on a more truthful path, I just feel so much more aligned and enlightened and I can't wait to manifest more money, more success and more luxury bags. So thanks so much guys for tuning in. Love you so much even though I don't know any of you and I'm not going to respond to any of your DMs anytime soon. And yeah, stay blessed, stay sane and stay safe. Love and later. I can't believe I've been on this platform for a decade and I've never done an April Fools video. That probably wasn't even that funny because it was funny in my head and truth be told, Anything that I find funny, people usually stare at me while I'm laughing hysterically. So this was more for me than it was for you. But truth be told, I mean, can you really trust me after that truth video? But truth be told, though, I cannot tell you how many times I've had people reach out to me and be like, you're not really blind or you're not really legally blind or how you blind if or if you were blind, then you wouldn't do this. And it's just like. You don't even know how much I have to sacrifice, adapt, change, and let go of on the daily, but I do it. A lot of people are like, you're the most positive person I know, you're super inspiring. I don't find myself that way. I find I have to do so much inner work in order to get up on this camera or in the vlogs, you guys see me on my shitty days, so you know. But I do it all for the sake of showing you there's another aspect to losing your vision. Like, yes, I've said it before, sucks to lose your vision. I don't know what it's going to be like in five years. I'm currently dealing with this internal battle of like, should I let YouTube go? And should I go back to school with the time that I spend on here? Because what I'm doing with work and with this is not going to suffice and hold me down as my vision deteriorates. I just know it and I can't play around. But at the same time, it's like, I don't want to give up on myself. Not to say YouTube is a dream because let's be real. I'm 32. I started this at 22, like ship has sailed. But I do love connecting and communicating with you guys. And I remember being 19 and 21, hearing about this term, not knowing what it was and Googling Stardust disease. And back in the back of the day, there was only chat rooms. So all I looked up were people complaining about their life being over. And I'm like, uh, -uh we're not having that. My life was not good before this diagnosis. I want it to get better every day. Cause I say, I always say, as long as you were better than who you were yesterday, you're going in a forward motion. And I just, with all of the hard days, the depression I've had, everything, I've just always set that in my mind. Like no matter what happens in this life, when I leave, I want to know that I was better than I was the day before. That is my only goal when I put my head on the pillow each night. So I've always just, at first I used to be so offended, like, oh my God, this person really thinks I'm coming on YouTube and Instagram, struggling for hours to edit just to lie about being blind to get clicks and views. If it was really about that, I would have I would have quit in 2012 because this ish ain't easy to do. I'm sure a lot of you have YouTube channels, so you can let the comment section know that this ain't, you know, this ain't for the meek, this ain't for the weak of heart. In fact, it took me 20 minutes just to get my foundation to somewhat blend. And part of me having this light on is not just because it's gloomy outside, but when you have such a bright light, it balances you out even when you're not blended out. So there's all about learning the hacks, how to edit, how to do shortcuts so that you can do things quick when you're trying to make up for lost time. And I have all this on my mind while I'm still living life off camera. It's just so funny, but I'm in a place now where I no longer get triggered by the comments people make saying that I'm not really blind or it's not that bad or legally blind is not the same as blind. Like I know that I know that being blackout blind sounds crazy but also being legally blind is crazy. They're crazy in different ways and there's no comparison. I'm not gonna go to a visually impaired person and say, oh, you're not that bad off because X, Y, and Z, or ah, 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 like, so I don't know why people do that to me, but to each their own. If you wanna put your energy there instead of towards yourself and better yourself, that's on you, boo. But yeah, I just wanted to make a quick April Fool's gag video since it's one of my favorite holidays. Top three and you guys are gonna think I'm crazy. I swear, if you're not visually impaired, you don't know what it's like to look forward to a future that you may not be able to see. Just take that in. That's, that's dropping major keys, gems, every type of Instagram saying there is like, is a lot, but you gotta do it. 
you gotta do it you're fighters so whether you're part of the blind fam or sight squad i believe you i see you i appreciate you i'm gonna keep the blind puns coming i'm gonna keep the content coming i do want to switch it up a little bit because i've been doing a lot of the vlogs lately and i do miss the chit chat talks with you so expect to see some of those really soon and yeah that's when we wrap up this one so thank you so much for making it to the real end of this video i love and appreciate each and every one of you sending good vibes your way stay blessed stay authentic like the podcast says stay sane and stay safe love and later